Hi, Lee Ellis here with our monthly coaching. You know, last week I was with a group of about 35 or 40 people, and we ended up discussing some of the key traits in the room. And one of the things that came out was one group, about a third of the group, was very strong ego, kind of egotistical. One third was very modest. The wonderful thing was that they actually saw the differences in each other. And I thought today it would be good for us to talk about that, some of the strengths and the struggles of both of those groups. About a third of the population really has strong ego, borderline egotistical, and could slip on even into a little more dangerous territory sometimes, also if they're not careful and self-aware. The other side, one third, modest, more reticent about their ego. They don't believe so strongly, at least outwardly, they don't express themselves as strongly about how confident they are and they can do this and that and they know this and that. They're just more reticent about that, more modest, uh, more humble in a way. So let's talk about the strong ego people. Now I happen to be one of those. Uh, Fighter pilots are often that way, but actually it's common everywhere, in every store, in every location, in every business, you're going to have a lot of people with strong egos. They think they know everything. Uh, They have strong opinions. They believe they can do anything. If everybody would just let them take control and run things, it would all work out just right. Uh, My one of my old bosses used to say sometimes wrong, but never in doubt is one of their uh, one of their characteristics. Well, they are often right, but the problem comes when they don't acknowledge that they're not always right and they don't listen to the opinions and ideas of others. So for that group, self-awareness would be understanding that other people are very important to mission accomplishment and celebrating other people, noticing other people, calling them out and affirming them. That would be very helpful. Also to kind of put outside that old mindset that I'm always right and if I was just in control everything would work out great because that's really not true. Uh, We need other people around us to help us, and we need to acknowledge them. The danger is if we don't move in that direction and keep ourselves grounded with some humility and some doubt, we will start to slide from being strong ego to being uh, arrogant and even toward narcissism. And in my blog this month, I'm going to talk a little bit more about and give some characteristics, a little test, uh, 10 items of narcissism. You can take the test and see if you get five or more right. That might be the danger zone. Well, let's talk about the other side, those who are more modest, more reticent. In this group, in our discussion, there were two people who worked together. One was strong ego. One was more modest. And the more modest person was the manager. But what came out of that was they had a really good relationship and they valued each other. The modest person didn't have to be out front all the time, although they had the lead position. They weren't beating their own drum. They were actually using and celebrating the talents of the person who had the more take charge, strong ego to do some of the things that needed to be done. So they had a lot of respect for each other. It was just amazing to see people so different but so aligned and working together so well, and it was all because they respected each other. So the humble person in the post debrief of this little discussion, the feedback from some of the more strong ego people was, we don't hear from you guys enough. You guys do great work, but you don't call attention to yourself. You don't step out in the limelight so much. You don't stand out and look for opportunities to do that. And so sometimes you get overlooked. And this was pretty, uh, pretty good revelation, I think, for the modest people to realize that. And it's not in their nature to assert themselves out like that, but that would be helpful. Coaching yourself, if you're the modest person, to step forward, to be a little bit more assertive in your ideas and your opinions, and maybe even challenge some of those people who think they, have, they know everything and have all the right ideas. So being a little bit more assertive there could be helpful. So we've looked at the real strong egos, the modest egos. We need them all. And all can be great leaders if they can adapt themselves to do the right thing and the most effective things in any situation. In the case of these two leaders, they seem to be pretty mature and able to do that. It was very impressive. And really, everybody was just astounded to see the relationship and the confidence that they had in each other and the success that they had had. It really highlighted that whole idea. Well, in case you don't know exactly 
where you are and you don't have the self-awareness you'd like, we do have the Leading with Honor free assessment online. You can take it and instantly get a one-page report, give you a lot of insights about yourself, and I think you'll be able to figure out where you fit and also figure out some of the things that you can coach yourself to be more effective as a leader. Well, I hope you'll join us again next month and look forward to seeing you.